Hey guys, so I got an update on my PowerBook 550C that I've been working on. I imported this uh, computer from Japan last month, in March, and I've been doing a lot of work on it to kind of get it back and to kind of get it more modernized and kind of usable in this day and age. So, I got the battery connector repaired swapped out from another connector because a battery had leaked o on it on over the years and bad corrosion happened on the contact so I just figured it would be better to replace it all together. I tried to swap the hard drive that was installed uh, that this computer came with when I received it. There was an ADX, ADTX branded SCSI to IDE adapter with a IDE hard drive, an Apple branded IBM hard drive that was installed. It was only one gigabyte, so I figured uh, considering the age of this computer and I don't know how old the hard drive could be or how old it, how long it has been used, I decided it was time to replace it with a solid state and something a little larger. So I've tried a compact flash option. I imported this IDE compact flash adapter and I've had so far I've had very little success I've actually used another compact flash adapter kind of test with this the SCSI adapter that was in the computer but both yielded the same result uh, I've had no success in getting solid-state compact flash memory cards to be recognized I've tried down to two gigabyte I've even partitioned uh, the compact flash card in another power book but that didn't work out uh, the only success I've had was with this 2.5 gigabyte Seagate ST1 drive which is um, if you remember the micro drives made by Hitachi and IBM this is pretty much a tiny hard drive in this little compact flash uh, type 1 I believe form factor so it's a little thicker than the regular compact flash cards, memory cards that we have today, which I believe are type 2. Could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, then I'll correct that. Um, right now I'm trying to load a floppy boot drive, boot disk, so I can install a new operating system, because I found a solid state drive, 4 gigabyte drive, that actually was recognized by the the system when I had installed into the ADTX adapter. So uh, I, am, I bought it through eBay. It's I believe a commercial use solid state drive, but it's four gigabytes, and well, I'm just glad it was recognized by the system. So I actually initialized it a while ago, and so now I modified the drive image, the boot disk image where there is a CD-ROM extension so I could actually use a installation disk and install so there's a new drive that I had installed showing up being mounted and if I pull it up uh, it's still loading well I'll get a Mac OS 8 here into the disk drive here. And we'll go ahead and load that in. Here, the floppy drive is still reading the floppy disk, it sounds like it, so I don't want to interfere with that, but well, let's get that CD disk. Okay, so there it is, Mac OS 8. And we got Blackbird hard drive here, appropriately named. <laughs> so there's Mac OS 8. Check that out. So let me go ahead and pull up the Blackbird hard drive. <laughs> uh, Blackbird is a code name for the PowerBook 500 series back in the 1990s. If you're familiar with the so you see, 3.7 gigs available. So, 
close enough to four gigs. So I'm going to pull up the utility here, and I'm actually going to reinitialize this because actually let's not we'll just go ahead and install it's already initialized it's ready so I'm using a ADEX CD drive here so it's not gonna load the fastest this wristwatch keeps getting in my way here but let's go ahead and pull up the installation program I'm really excited about this because I really want to know how fast the solid state drive could speed up the system without having to load programs from a spindle drive. So this is kind of a big deal to me. Alright, we'll go ahead and continue. Yes. Select. All right, so go ahead and continue. I think some of the font is looks strange because I deleted the deleted an extension that I believe has something to do with the font or encoding or I don't remember anyways it's just temporary <laughs> I just need to get the CD drive working so we can get this installation on disk started so there we go look at that hopefully that's helpful to this solid state drive We'll see, I intend to install probably up to 8.6 on this 550. I know the last supported, official supported operating system version is Mac OS 8.1, but using some software like Wish I Were, which is a program that allows you to change the system settings to where it can trick the software, can trick installation software like this, into thinking it's another computer. So instead of reading as a PowerBook 550C, it could read as um, a PowerBook that is compatible with the software you're trying to load, so. All right, we're installing. I'm very happy to see this because for a while I was just feeling really hopeless trying all these sol solid state compact flash cards that just wouldn't be recognized when I tried to pull them up for initializing. But this drive here, I didn't even think about finding just a straight up solid state IDE drive to install. I was just set on compact flash and then thought, what have I got to lose? But it's really the, really my main, I guess my main concern with installing another drive was getting it mounted appropriately on the on the mount holes on the adapter so if you see this you see how close together the screw holes are it's because they're using an older mounting layout that I don't believe is in this modern day is widely used in fact it's actually pretty difficult for me to find another drive with mounting holes that close together. Usually there's, uh, you have two near uh, the opposing ends and that's what you find with 
even compact flash adapters like this. So that's why I've had to import this because it had the mounting holes in the placement that I desired so it would mount uh, correctly to that SCSI adapter. But this hard drive had both mounting hole setups, mounting hole positions on them, so on its base, so that helped out pretty big actually. It convinced me to go ahead and put an offer in the drive. The offer was accepted by the seller and four days later I'm here now installing Mac OS 8 on the 550C with the hard drive, with that solid state drive installed. So we'll see what happens and hopefully uh, maybe we'll, we can see how a solid state drive can improve performance. Already you can, if you listen, there's, it's quiet, it's, there's no spinning hard drive sound, it's just besides the, besides the CD drive here spinning, probably hear that but no hard drive I and mean, it's just really quiet in a way I kind of feel nostalgic listening to an actual hard drive spin up in this computer but this is a good change I think that I would definitely get used to I the this 2.5 gig drive here was very quiet I hardly heard it heard anything when it was running in the system so it won't be too much different but it was nice listening to that hard drive spin up every time I powered on the computer so I guess we'll check back later and see how everything goes once uh, Mac OS 8 is installed and I'll probably go on to install Mac OS 8.1 and eventually get to 8.6 just kind of a build up there. All right.